Greetings to all you 3D printing fans out there. Uh, it's before the month gets away from us. Let's go ahead and we're going to open the November Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box. And just to let you know, three, the UFO Mystery Box is a subscription where you can, every month, they will send you a four, sem four sample filaments, 20 meters each, a 3D printing accessory, and a monthly project. And there's also the option if you want to do just a filaments only box for $18 a month, you will get four filament samples or you can now do a projects only box where you'll get the project for also $18 a month. And the full subscription box, the monthly box is $36 a month. I'll leave a link in the description below and also a referral code. You use that referral code and you'll get a discount. And so the other thing I want to let you know uh, is I am not connected with Alien 3D. I pay for my subscription box just like everybody else. I just wanted to share with you what we get every month. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, and the first thing we have here is we have a note from Josh. Uh, and the note from Josh is uh, tells you about the box and for Thanksgiving. First thing we're going to look at here is our filament samples. First we have from 3D Passion Atlantic Sky PLA extrusion temperature 190C to 210C bed temperature 0 to 60C and we got a nice blue color there. I like that. We're going to have to go ahead and print some nice stuff out of that. See what we get. Okay, I'll set that here. And our next filament is from 3D uh, Warhorse uh, Flesh PLA. Extrusion temp 190C to 220C. Bed temp 260 to. Oh, bed temp 160. One more time. Bed temp 60 to 80C. Okay, see that color there? Now, okay. And the next is from Filament One Gold Silk Pro Select PLA Extrusion Temp 205 to 225C Bed Temp 35 to 60C. That's a nice gold color. Okay. And the last one is Greengate 3D clear recycled PETG okay that's interesting extrusion temp 225C to 245C bed temp 70C I've been told this PETG can print colder than other PETGs but no temps were listed on their website or roll, so standard temps listed above. Okay. Well, we'll have to see what we get out of that. I personally don't have a whole lot of luck with pet G's, but I am working on getting better at it. But we got a clear filament there, so we'll try that out. And we also got a Graybeard sticker. We'll add that to the collection. And a 3D print Viking. Yeah, we'll add that one to the collection as well. And of course, these are our candy corns. And Twizzlers. Orange and black cherries, what I got. So, well, I'll give us something to. Work out. Well, hey, well, that might work as filament too. She stripped that off there. Who knows? But the project this month, Josh wants everybody to make a turkey and put the, for this to go in. 
and it's already been programmed with the sound of a turkey. Oh, but it's also programmable. Well, you can other, put other sound in it. And the 3D print accessory is a deburring tool. And we know as 3D printers, this will come in quite handy. Quite handy. These are the. Yeah. Let's go ahead and open this up here. And there's the handle. I'll have to try that out. See how well that works. So, with all of these, let's do some printing. some test prints done. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. This first one is the filament one gold silk. And all in all, very nice. We've got a little bit of stringing up there on the top. There. But the extrusion is smooth. Don't see any Problems. Well, looks like we may have a little bit. No, got a little something there on the back. You can see that right there. We got just a little bit of stringing there. But I like that filament. Color's nice, and it's very smooth. I printed this on the Prusa Mark III S and I think it came out very well. Okay, next one we have is the 3D Passion Atlantic Sky. Also printed on the Prusa Mark III S. Let's get over here. And a little bit of stringing at the top. Nothing that can't be overcome with a few settings and adjustments, I think. But, all in all, very nice. I like that 3D Passion filament. Uh, it prints very good, and I like his colors. So Now we'll move on to this one. Had a little bit of a failure, and I don't believe it was because of the filament. This was printed on the Mark III S. Oh, forgot to say. This one was printed on the Bre on the Bear Mark III, Bear S. So, but back to this one. It failed. And you can see he's got a little bit of a, it's broke loose from the bed. And this is the Mark III that has the textured bed on it. Uh, I think the uh, only reason why this might have broke loose I believe is because I used a little bit lower of a bed temperature. I used the minimum bed temperature of 60, which with that textured bed I found that I will, I have better results of adhesion if I stay up around 70 C. So I don't think that was caused from the filament, but aside from that, very smooth, very clean. Layer lines are really nice. I don't have any other extrusions. Everything did really nice right up until it failed. So, I like this filament. I think I'm going to get some of this filament. But, that's the October box. And for those of you who don't know, make sure you look for the Easter egg. Uh, 
I finally found one first before Lady Fox found them, found it. So look for Godzilla. He is there. Uh, yeah, but he's well hidden. So he's not an easy find. So if you find him, leave comments below. Let me know you found him. Don't tell anybody where you found him, but let us know if you found the found Godzilla on this month's box. So also so if you like what we're doing here, uh, appreciate it if you would have subscribed, hit the bell, make sure that you, so that you'll know when new videos come out. Uh, if not, thumbs down, that's fine too. Either way, leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. Uh, any projects that you might suggest for me to do in the future, uh, just to let everybody know some of the projects that are coming down the line is we are going to do another bear project and also I think I'm going to start looking into doing some Arduino projects as well so let me know if you have any suggestions uh, leave those comments below there's a link below for the referral code you use that code and Josh will give you a discount remember you have the choices of just filament just project or you can do the full subscription eighteen dollars for the small boxes uh, and it's what was it thirty six dollars for the full full subscription box uh, that is going to be all for today. Stay tuned for other videos. I plan to do some more review videos this week and hopefully get them out soon. And until then, happy printing and have a happy Thanksgiving this year and be thankful for all we've got.